There we go. Uh, I'm first gonna talk to Ludlut, I think. I'm gonna give him that transposing kiln. It's actually funny that the game actually tells me to go to him. Fret not, fret not. My feet are here firmly planted. Ah, you chokester. I am a lord, and this is my throne. So, uh, here you go. Oh, belike it is a transposing kiln in thy possession. Seen better days, but methinks it shall suffice. Now, bring to me a twisted soul. Transposition is the art of extracting and coalescing the essence of a soul. In transposing a twisted soul, its true power transferred to thee. Thy purpose is to seek lords and slay them. What's to fear in a little transposition now? I don't know. Um, let's begin. Oh, say, yeah. I was right, it just transforms it into... Uh, Huh. Soul of a demon. Ah, okay. It shows me that, but it doesn't want to say anything yet. Recovers HP with successive attacks. Pontiff's left eye. Bewitched ring that Pontiff Solivan bestowed upon its his knight. So that's the guy that caused that curse of those uh, Boreal Valley knights. Um, knights who peer into the Black Orb are lured into battles of death, transformed into frenzied beasts. No wonder the Pontiff only provides these rings to those dispatched to foreign lands. Then we have the Hollow Slayer Sword. Great sword used for a lifetime by a masked knight. Hmm. That does look like that Mirror Girl's sword from Dark Souls 2. Arbors the fears that lurks within the minds of hollows and is particularly effective against them. Stowed to a proper mirror knight long ago, there we go. To hand it to execute special sword techniques. Stance, break, foes guard from below, strong attack to slash upwards for a forward lunge. And demon great axe. That does look like the axe that fire demon was using. Boreal Valley Vort, Vort's Great Hammer, Great Hammer wielded by Vort, the Outrider Knight of the Boreal Valley. Weapon is imbued with frost and causes frostbite. Frost accumulates in the body, causing frostbite, frostbite which saps one health, blah blah blah. Perseverance, anchor weapon in earth to temporarily boost poise, damage reduced while activated. So that's the same thing that Vort did in the battle. And then we can use the soul of the Rotted Greatwood to make this spear as well, our store's spear. One of the curses that festered within the Valley of the Great Wood, and a terrible weapon favored by Earl Arstor the Impaler. The spear is enwreathed in rotten, heavily poisonous meat. Defeating foes restores HP. And a shield splitter take a large step forward and make a single focus thrust to puncture enemy shields and inflict damage. And that has a C scaling. So that spear is looking really cool. But the Hollow Slayer Greatsword also has a C scaling. And benefits a bit more from strength than what I believe. But the spear also causes bleeding. Um Oh no. Yeah, the, the greatsword is better for scaling. Huh, interesting. I think I'm gonna use the Rotted Great Wood Soul. What's this actually? Demon Fist. Demonic Fist that burns with a fiery essence. Its wielder can release this power through use of its skill. Flame Whirlwind. Fancy. Um, so I think I am going to use the Hollow Slayer Greatsword. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna use it, but to transpose, I think. And then the ring as well. No style of our but five thrones, the fast eight. Yeah, okay. Now now. 
So, uh, let's check those things out. Equipment. Hollow Slayer Greatsword. So the weight is uh, definitely higher. And yeah, it's really her weapon. Look at that. I'm wearing her garb and her weapon. It is slower, of course. Whoop. Whoop. Yeah, it is a cool weapon, though. And I can do thrusts with it. Can do three attacks. One, two, and stab. Yeah. That's awesome. Is the rolling one a stab as well? Oh no, it's an overhead slam. That's actually really cool. And then that ring. Might want to switch that out for the blood bite ring. Recover HP with successive attacks. I am moving up with my uh, my weight, but I'm still below 70, so that's great, I think. I'm gonna guess I need Twinkin Titanite to upgrade this thing. Ah, just what neat. Uh, reinforce. Titanite scales. Oh, that's cool. Um. Well, yeah, I think I'm gonna use it for a while, so give me that. And then maybe I could upgrade the bow a bit more. Just in case I need it. So yeah, there we go. Uh, I did. I don't need to reinforce. And everything be should be <laughs> prepared. Repaired, I mean. And then we should have enough souls left to level up once more. Welcome home. Very so level well. up. Then Tophaken. And put one more into dexterity, and after that we'll start putting a few points into vigor and endurance. So there we go. Still have about a thousand souls left. Oh wait, do you have anything else to say now that I killed the rotten tree? Nope. Maybe the knight does. He did tell me to go to the road of sacrifices, which which is where we're gonna head next. You haven't given up yet. Then you're a brasher less than I thought. You can make better use of this. Oh! Heavy gem, thank you. It. Not now I've flown the coop. <laughs> okay then, flown the coop. The undead legion of Farron is a caravan of undead. Sworn by wolf's blood to contain the abyss, the legion will bury a kingdom at the first sign of exposure. Joyous bunch, really. Gaining admission to the Legion is a matter of some ceremony. Inside their keep, snuffing out the flames of three altars opens the door to the wolf blood. Even a cursed undead would want to believe they're special, it seems. I pity the sorry souls. <laughs> so we need to snuff out three altars to gain access to the Legion. And there was something else that was really interesting that he said. He said those undead were bound by wolf's blood to guard the abyss. So that's a really strong reference to Artorias and, uh, and his wolf Sif. So are those guys descendants from Artorias, or even have some lineage Gaining to those guys? Gaining to the Legion is a matter of some ceremony. Inside their keep, snuffing out the flames of three altars, open opens the door, the door to, the to the wolf blood. blood. Even a <laughs> so he stopped talking about uh, Saint Aldrich, which is peculiar in its own right. Um, but hey, uh, I do want to check if I can make this a sharp weapon. Uh, what need. Uh, so infuse. Oh no, that's not even in the list. I can't change that to a sharp weapon. What can I do to shields actually?
refined gem. So that's nothing really. Okay then. Thank you, Andre. Uh, and then we'll head back to um, maybe buy some more arrows from the thief guy. And then we'll head back to the Road of Sacrifices, which is probably where we need to head next. Are you sleeping? Heavens, she was already dead. Uh oh. Heavens. He is. Uh... Heavens. Oh, seriously? Dude, snap Heavens. out of it. God damn it. So is he unavailable forever now, or uh... that's weird? Uh, well then, maybe ah. I can buy something from her that I would need. Um, so I don't have a white sign soapstone yet, so I might as well. Uh, and then everything else is pretty much garbage. So how many souls do I still have? 574. So let's buy another homeward bone. Ashen one. Go and then head back to the uh, road of sacrifices. Travel. Because I think we're pretty much done with the undead settlement for now. We're gonna take a few steps in this direction. I do want to see what all this is about. It does seem like we're heading back to Lotric Castle. Oh, or maybe in that direction. We haven't been there either, have we? Uh, wow. No! Wow! You were growing like hell. He's holding a knife for show, isn't he? Shriving stone. Or shriving stone? Um. Oh, here. Undo weapon infusion. Also known as a Stark Stone. Reverses weapon infusion. Has the benefit of undoing the effects of infusion without reducing the enforcement level. Handy. So if I want to make my fire sword a normal sword again. I could actually do that. There is one with wings over there already. Poison. Where the hell did you come from? I am afraid of that third swipe every single time. There doesn't seem to be anything for me here. That's where I'm already confused. This tree looks awfully green. There's something over there. And I'm probably going to have to get to there. By going around here, I suppose. Because I didn't see a road over here. Oh, I did. Never mind. Shh. 
should be able to drop down here. Um, dark spirit ahead. I don't really want to get surprised here. Creepy dude, start that chart. Um, those guys. Is that another sort of curse? Because they look like hollows at the beginning, but those wings are something else. So can he resurrect those dudes, because I don't think I missed one of those fellows, and there suddenly was one with red eyes. So again, pretty much two ways to go, we can go over here, we can go down there. Illusory wall ahead. Doesn't really look like it. I have a pretty big sword. Okay, that would have been extremely stupid. So let's see what this dark spirit is about and then I'll probably end the episode. Oh, hi. Is that... Maneater Mildred? Oh wow! Butcher knife. Is that gonna confirm what I thought? Butcher knife. Butcher's knife with an oddly large blade wielded by the mad woman hunting the road of sacrifices. Squarely landed hits restore HP. Back in the undead settlement, the woman acquired a taste for human flesh, of which she took glee in partaking. Still sharpened. Sharpening the blade increases HP restored with each successful hit. Shortcut ahead. Okay. The bridge and gear. Why would this be a shortcut? And the bridge and twin daggers. 
It does look like I could get down there. I see ground beneath those trees, but... I don't think there's anything here. Is there? Or am I this mistaken? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Um, well then. I suppose we're going to continue exploring this area in the next episode. Because I'm going to take a little break. So, as always, I thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, she looks badass. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. If you want to join the conversation, don't hesitate to put something in the comments. Talk about what I missed. Because I'm blind sometimes. Uh, what you think about the lore so far please don't spoil anything but I really enjoyed talking with you guys so thank you guys enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode or stream you know anywhere thank you goodbye <laughs>